it's not often that you wake up in the middle of the Sahara on a nine or train. And this is probably one of the longest trains in the world. It's around three kilometers long. This is where I slept last night. And my nose is runny and I'm all very dirty from last night. Looking like something from a Dickens novel, we finally reached the coast. Here I hoped to kite on a huge lagoon that I'd heard about. This Saharan town was like something out of the Wild West. A chaotic jumble of donkeys, breeze blocks and rusting taxis. One of the really bizarre things about this place is the amount of shipwrecks here. It's going to be one of the biggest shipwreck graveyards in the world. This one actually beached itself one night when the captain decided to take a shortcut. We've heard a whole variety of reasons to why well, there's so many shipwrecks here. But the most common one I've actually heard is that it's a, um, a scam where people will shipwreck their boat and then claim on the insurance. And this is where they've ended up. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a woman.